what's being called a pandemic of the unvaccinated. I'm not trying to panic people. Got worse in North Texas Thursday. We're in a real serious situation capacity wise. Steve Love, a face you should know by now and president of the DFW Hospital Council delivering news that's all too sobering. Our region now treating 2,690 COVID patients up 178 since Wednesday. And in the past 30 days, Love says hospitalizations have increased approximately five times. We've got a fatigue staff. These folks have worked so hard and yet our numbers continue to increase. But new concerns surround children. 73 pediatric patients are hospitalized right now, the highest recorded since March of last year. Mix that in with an unusual rise in RSV cases this summer, and no staffed pediatric ICU beds are available in the region as of Wednesday evening. Some of the ones that are pretty sick are over age 12, but they were not vaccinated. Cook Children's in Fort Worth confirming that capacity is tight, but that it's not sending patients to other hospitals just yet. A different story. We're a football team marching down the end zone, and we stopped at the 50-yard line. Playing out in Amarillo. Now we're paying the price for it. In a region where vaccination rates hover at 35 to 40 percent, Northwest Texas Hospital, a level three trauma center, is in need of 80 additional nurses and is at 75 percent ICU bed capacity. Some COVID patients needing a higher level of care are being held in the ER. There's a patient that's been waiting over two days to try to get a bed in this hospital. Transfers aren't going well either. You talk to the crew, they're like, you know, that hospital tried 15 locations, including us, to try to find some place to get that patient to a higher level of care. And it may be somewhere in Colorado or Oklahoma they have to take that patient. Love says North Texas isn't in dire straits like our friends up in the panhandle, but added that things aren't getting better here in Dallas. I'm Matt Howerton.